Alright guys, welcome back. We're going to be solving the third question from the first chapter of the Miriam textbook in Geo Mechanics. And in this one, for the given vectors that we had in the previous question, V1 and V2, we need to determine the magnitude of the vector difference, which is shown with V prime, so V2 minus V1, and the angle of theta x, which the V prime is going to make with positive x axis, and it's asking us to do both graphical and algebraic solution. So I'm just going to bring this a little bit toward the middle. So basically, we have V2 minus V1, which minus V1 is exactly the same vector, only in the other direction. So we're going to treat this in here exactly the same length. And now that we have this, it's kind of like that our V prime is minus V1 plus V2. So the question is asking us to solve it graphically and using algebra. So let's go with the graphical method first. So what we're going to do is that we're going to draw same vector as our minus V1 parallel to that one. And we're going to do the same thing for V2 same vector so this is going to be our v2 and for finding the sum of these two or the resultant the vector that connects beginning to here is going to be our uh, what we showed v prime so using the graphical method we're just going to get our ruler see what we have for each of these so as we can see the length of the v1 is we can see it's around four centimeters so our 27 units is going to be proportional to 40 centimeter and let's see what we have for the v prime so the v prime is something like 5.5 centimeter if i look at in here it's around 5.5 centimeter so from here we can if you just cross multiply these we can find v prime 27 times 5.5 divided by 4. Let's see what we get. 27 times 5.5 divided by 4. So this is going to be around 37.1 units. But again, if, if you're looking for the, we can find the exact value using the algebra. And if you want to find the angle in here, so we can see that the angle that it makes is around 175 if we look at the the center of this ruler this is going to give us the theta x which is this angle around 175 let's just look at it one more time so if this is our horizontal line of x we are going like five degrees above which is the 175 okay that's our graphical method let's use algebra and the uh, law of sine and law of cosine in order to find these so uh for that we need one of these triangles that we have in here i'll spit this one and all in in here we know this angle is 30 degrees and if we want to find this angle in here we can call this one alpha tangent of alpha would be opposite 4 over 3 so we have that right triangle in the figure so we can find alpha tangent inverse of 4 divided by 3 which is going to be 53.1 degrees uh so sorry so this angle here is 53 so if you want to find this angle here it's basically 180 minus 30 minus 53.1 degrees and that angle is equal to what we have in here so that one is going to be 180 minus 83.1 so 180 minus 83.1 is going to be 96.9 so this angle here is 96.9 which is what we had in here so now that we have that angle we should be able to find the so now that we have that angle 96.9 we should be able to find the y prime using the law of cosines so v prime squared is equal to uh, v1 squared 21 squared plus v2 squared 27 squared minus 
Oh, actually, v1 is 27 and v2 is 21 minus 2 times 21 times 27 times cosine of 96.9 degrees. And we can find the v prime in here, which will be the square root of what we have in the previous step. So the square root of 21 squared plus 27 squared minus 2 times 21 times 27 times cosine of 96.9. So this is going to be 36.14 units. And this is the exact value that we have for this. So in our graphical method, we found 37.1, which is uh, close, but this would be the exact number. And we're going to use the law of sines in order to find the, the angle beta in order to figure out what angle it makes with. So let's call this angle between V prime and our V2 beta. So we're going to have sine of beta over this side in front of that, which is V127 is equal to sine of 96.9 over the V prime, which was 36.14. So if you just cross multiply this, we should be able to find beta, which would be sine inverse of 27 times sine of 96.9 over 36.14. Let's calculate this. So sine inverse of 27 times sine of 96.9 divided by 36.14. So this is going to give us 40. 7.88 degrees but the question is asking for the angle between v prime and the positive x-axis which as i discussed in the graphical method is this angle so it's basically beta plus uh, 96.9 plus 30 so theta x in here is 30 plus 96.9 plus 47.88. Let's see what we get. So plus basically 126.9. And this is going to give us 174.9. 78 degrees which is pretty close to the angle that we found using graphical method we found 175 so compared to 174.8 uh, close enough and yeah that's pretty much everything for this question hope everything was clear and you guys take care i'll see you in the next video have a good one